Hello everyone. I am Manoranjan Hek, Assistant Professor of Commerce, Government First State College, Bagepalli. Today uh, we will discuss on strategic human resource management prescribed by Bangalore North University for fifth semester BBA. The topic which we are going to discuss today is strategic human resource planning model. In the previous session or a class we discussed on HR strategies to increase the performance of a firm. So we shall discuss today on strategic human resource planning model. How the total model of uh, human resource planning look like we'll discuss. The session outcome of or the video would be you will be able to understand the mod model of strategic human resource planning. How human resource managers plan their, their tasks or accomplishment of the objectives will be there. So let us start. As you can see in this particular slide, there are four important parameters where every human resource manager plan themselves. The first one comes assessment of current HR capacity. No doubt before any kind of strategies to be implemented in an organization, a particular plan should be assessed or particular plan will be accomplished based on the HR capability or HR capacity. What is the what would be the outcome he has to analyze in proper way what are the requirements or the hr human resource capacity or human resource requirement should be analyzed in a proper manner the second comes forecasting the hr requirements so after assessing the required hr capacity it is a prime objective of every human resource manager to forecast or think in advance what are the human resource requirements in an organization it could be there are various departments in HR section as well so he has to analyze could be uh, recruitment selection training induction or compensation related tasks any kind of task which will be accomplished every human resource manager should forecast his requirements in an organization in a better manner the third comes gap analysis after assessing the required current HR capacity and which is forecasted the HR requirements of an organization, he, he has to analyze, is there any gap between the forecasting or the current requirements? He has to analyze on, he has to fill the gap between the present and future HR requirements in an organization. The last comes developing HR strategies to support organizational strategies. So every human resource manager, he has to develop strategy which is on par with the organizational strategies. Once the uh, human resource strategies have been set or the plans will be accomplished in a better manner, which in turn leads to the success of organization strategy and the overall mission or overall vision of an organization will be accomplished or met in better way. In this particular slide, as you can see, this is the exact planning model, HR strategies, HR planning model of an organization. There are three important, four important components here. As you can see, the strategic plan, the current state and vision, which is followed by gap analysis. So it is a prime task of every human resource manager before implementing any kind of plan so it is followed by current state. What is the current state of activities or current state of the organization will be checked, which is in turn linked to vision or values of an organization. So this plan will be led to, to uh, two important parameters. One is current state of the organization and vision. It has to go hand in hand. As I already explained in the previous video, the, any kind of plans for a present and future strategies will be accomplished by gap analysis. If any kind of gaps you find, that will be analyzed and you know set in a proper manner. So current state and vision will be accomplished in this particular gap analysis, which again lead to HR strategies and plans. 
so the plan will be accomplished with the uh, after gap analysis it will be you know gone to the hr strategy and plan there are various plans or strategies in an organization this is already explained in the previous videos as well so the, this can be uh, uh, said as like various roles or duties performed by every human resource manager in an organization you can see the first one like work design or classification recruitment and selection performance management learning and development hr information management hr planning organizational development rewards and recognition career development and succession management every human resource manager in an organization plays a very vital role in all these tasks accomplishment starting from work design how the work will be designed in a proper manner all these are the basement of all these are hr strategies or planning will be there so next comes recruitment selection so what kind of how many employees are required for an organization he has to analyze in a proper manner how many projects are there and now and how many employees are required for the accomplishment of that particular project or task he has to analyze in a better manner there should not be any gap next comes performance management any the employees who are already working in an organization he has to set a standard for each and every employee and he has to analyze the performance of an organization of employees in an organization he has to set different parameters for different hierarchical levels and he has to uh, you know uh, evaluate the performance of an every employee in an organization the next comes learning and development so it is going hand in hand once the performance everything has been said and he has to he has he, it is his duty as well to uh, give proper training and uh, he has to make every employee learn and grow themselves with the learning and which in turn leads to the organizational success next comes hr information management he has to look in various inter departments in human resource his uh, activity as well he has to look into hr information management as well like you know it could be payroll section compensation or any grievance employee grievance sell everything will be there so he has to look into all these sections as well next comes hr planning so uh, all these are set and he has to analyze the present and forecasting the budget or cost parameter as well how much cost is required and what are the requirements hr requirements will be there to for the organizational accomplishment or goals to be to be you know set or goals to be accomplished like that he has to analyze in a proper manner next comes organizational development once the strategies have been accomplished in a proper manner and everything is going in uh, very smoothly so organizational development no doubt organizational development will be uh, it is very very much uh, you know uh, there in the organization or it is on par with the market standards next comes rewards and recognition no doubt every employee been given proper training and uh, section uh, you know uh, and his performance will be analyzed in a uh, better manner in each and every department level the performance will be measured and each performance will be compensated with the you know rewards and recognitions this will boost the uh, morale of an, every employee to work better and better the last comes career development and succession management once the learning and development is been given you know it is uh, very much essential and it is been given to the employees and once the uh, all the employees have been set themselves for the proper learning and development activities no doubt the career development of an individual as well as uh, the overall organizational success will be there so this is a brief or a, we can see the broad um, hr planning model and analytical model of you know human resource planning in an organization <clears throat> in this particular slide as you can see there are various steps or various factors which lead to human resource planning as you can see the first one like you know we can start with the strategic direction next comes hr system hrm man, hrm system next planning the total workforce next it is uh, leading to generating required human resource next it is leading to investment or investing in human resource development and performance and the last assessment and sustaining organizational competence and performance this has been already explained in the previous videos as well and previous slides as well first he has to in the, in the top level the uh, strategies will be set and the plans various ideas and plans will be set by an organization 
and it will lead to hrm system and human resource managers has to shape themselves the activities of the hrm for the organization success then he has to plan in a better manner what is the total workforce to be required to required for the accomplishment of the particular task then it will lead to the generating human required human resource he has to analyze how many employees are required for accomplishment of the particular task or his ideas and he has to assess and initially assigning the people needed organizational workforce he has to understand the required human resource for the accomplishment of the objectives later once it has been identified and decision is taken then it comes investing human resource development and performance he has to invest or the, here comes the cost parameter how many employees are required for an organization or development of the uh, competence or uh, activities he has to um, you know put investment for human resource development and performance later once the investment of human resource development and performance is done later he has to uh, analyze or assess or evaluate the organizational competence level and performance of the uh, organization like measuring the organization progress like you know how it was previously how it was there and currently what is the state of the organizational competence and what what would be the uh, forecasting has to be done what would be the future of organization has to analyze like what are the desired outcomes and adjusting the system accordingly so this is the you know overall sketch of strategic human resource planning model so in this particular slide as well it is in, in a very brief manner explains the human different uh, human resource management strategies it starts with mission and goals external analysis and internal analysis analysis which leads to the strategic choice and hr needs later it when uh, once the hr needs have been accomplished through hr practices and hr actions as i already told you hr practices and hr actions comes in various departments like recruitment induction selection selection induction training uh, development activities compensation performance appraisal and uh, any in different layers we have different uh, factors where hr practices and actions are been taken Uh, at last once all these been strategies have been uh, going in a smooth way or proper way the firm performance will definitely be uh, very good later it will lead to the different emerging strategies it makes the overall success of an organization in a better manner in this particular slide we can see there are various steps the same explanation of the previous slides has been has been uh, done here also the there are various almost five steps which explains the different human resource the planning model so the first one comes review of organization mission and objectives no doubt any organization success starts with vision or plan or idea or goal of an organization so he has to analyze or review what are the various mission and vision or objectives of an organization success later it leads to the review of human resource objectives and strategies once the vision is been set later it comes to the objectives what are the roles or responsibilities or duties to be performed in organizational level he has to understand later it lead to the two important parameters one is assessing current human resource and forecasting human resource needs in the previous slides we explained clearly once the objectives or strategies have been has been set it should be assessed in a proper manner like how many people are available now and what is what would be the what is their qualifications like employee qualifications and uh, how it will be uh, taken uh, for how, how like you know if they are on par with the uh, organizational success or task or is there any requirement for a training to be given for the employees he has to analyze later i it's uh, moving to the forecasting human needs uh, resource needs now the current state of the human resources is this much and, and we have to analyze in future going forward uh, in future how many uh, human resource needs are there how many employees are to be worked or how many employees to be recruited and what are the different plans to be adopted for them and is there in training facilities to be given for them everything will be uh, you know the main role or uh, the duty of an hr manager he has to analyze all these things later he has to as you can see in this particular slide assessing current human resource as well as forecasting the human resource we have to make a comparison and the next important step comes develop and implement human resource plans to match people and job openings once he is analyzing the current state of an organization and forecasting the future requirements later he has to club together and he has to analyze or develop the develop and implement 
humorous plans you, you will be having different ideas or you know plans that will be accomplished through or through you know uh, implementing different strategies in an organization on various parameters or various sections like you know recruitment as i already told you recruitment or selection training and development compensation related thing or labor management relations like is there any issues or labor related activities everything has to be taken care so this is a legal and governing regulations of an organization so this is a beautiful slide which explains clearly what are the different you know various strategies of a human resource manager in an organization for the accomplishment of objectives starting from vision till develop and implement implementing human resource strategies in a better manner so this is this will lead to a success this will definitely lead to a success of an organization by this i conclude myself with the presentation of a different organizational planning hr human resource planning model in an organizational success thank you